What this signifies is that all of our product is 100% certified, so you know you're getting exactly what you're paying for. Okay. This is how we do it. Look how much it shrinks. Yes, a lot. So we lose about 22% out of the meat. Oh. It give you only the flavor after that. Black and blue. This place is both amazing. And owner Ahmad, he's been in this thing forever, so he really knows what's going on. So we're gonna check out this place, see how they fare. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. Hey guys, so we walked in here in black and blue between York and I don't know what, but you do know something about this place. Everybody's heard of it. Even if you're not into investing, I'm sure you know this place. This is the former location of the TSX. And you know what? Have you seen $10 million? No, you haven't seen $10 million. I haven't either. But I'm sitting in it and I'm looking at it. You know why? Because the decorations here and the renovations here, and I went all out, guys. This place, supposedly the budget was $6.5 million. He's like, no, just to make sure everything is good, they made it so that's $10 million. Just the decoration. So how is that black or blue that if I heard? So it has a really lovely uh, toasted sesame mix and it's garnished okay. with a really lovely uh, sesame cracker and then a little bit of the pandan that okay. blends really nicely with the Johnny Black or you can upgrade to Johnny Blue. It's a nice lighter um, cocktail. Very, very friendly right here. But anyhow, we're gonna go into the menu right now. We're gonna check out what we're gonna order. We'll come back and talk to you guys. I'm a ribeye person. Okay, fine. I mean, I, I love ribeye. Excellent um, choice. Then we're going to our Canadian prime rib. So now you can see that you're starting to get those really nice pieces of marbling in between the muscle. <laughs> Canadian prime tenderloin here, you're gonna see not a ton of marbling, um, but very, very tender cut. Back to our meal. You always know that I like my steaks in ribeye format, that's right. It's more pleasing to me. And what better way to start our first meal here in Toronto's black and blue with something that I'm more familiar with, because after all, I'm not very familiar with the setting, but it certainly is very lovely. And I do see where the $10 million have gone to. It's so pretty here, it's very atmospheric. They've got terraces indoor, it's very rich, it's very woodsy, but it's got modern touches with different gold deckers everywhere, you know, just so that they could represent the old occupant of this location, TSX. Look at this, guys, the brioche. <laughs> it's the most intense brioche I've ever seen. And it just looks so flavorful. But, try now and see if it really is good, like it looks. This brioche is amazing. And they deliberately gave us this. And that is a spicy butter. I like spicy, I like butter. That is perfect. This brioche is good. Around the spice butter, it's so satisfying. The table side service was excellent. So here, nothing to complain about at all. They were amazing, very attentive informative and try this out this looks really good with lots of cheese shredded onto it the dressing is thick aroma from the cheese helps into the whole experience of this amazing Caesar salad and it's on a croutons give you a special brioche so far experience this place is amazing I already know I'm gonna come back this Caesar salad is really something. Our server, Tierra, she mentioned that since I got the black, little did I know that if I went, uh, let's try the blue, it'll be a huge price leap, as in three times or four times almost. It's pretty hefty, but I will still keep the black. This is more on the refreshing side, which is what I like. So I'm gonna check this halibut out and the sauce it's quite simple it's pretty much tomatoes and it's got a little bit of other aromatic ingredients in there it looks really fresh we just get a little piece after all this is not mine i am going to use a lot of this sauce mm. hearty but it's very satisfying 
in the same time. It's got a texture that is not too tender, but yet I find it easy to go down. It's very special. And there's the ribeye. I'm gonna have to try this because everything so far is absolutely amazing. I already took a small bite just to, you know, get a sampling before I could tell you actually how it tastes. Cut it. You know this ribeye is amazing. Now this is the Canadian Prime. Did not go for any Wagyu's or Kobe's. Therefore, I'm gonna try the Canadian Prime. This Canadian Prime asked for medium. The doneness is perfect. It's perfect. Look. It's perfect as in the coloring is perfect. And when you bite in, the marination is perfect. The cooking is perfect. How it's cooked, it's got, you as you can see, a little bit of burnt parts right here on the edge. Let me tell you, that might be a minus to someone, but it's definitely a plus in my book. That adds to the whole experience of having a stick. It added definitely a few points onto the overall taste and aroma that you feel once your stick is in your mouth. It goes up to your nasals and this stick with its perfect marination. I'd say pretty perfect. It's not salty. It's not too plain. I mean, it's just really, really good. This right here demonstrates how the marbling is here in this cut that they have. It's just so good, but to make it even gooder, <laughs> this sauce here is sort of like a signature item by the chef here, Dallas. It's truffle red wine. Red wine is the base, truffle is the taste. Mm. Let me tell you, that taste absolutely elevates the whole experience with this already, to me, perfectly marinated and perfectly cooked ribeye steak here in the black and pink. Well, thanks for watching this video. Man, if you like my videos, please remember to comment, like, and share. And if you think my thing's pretty good, please consider subscribing to my channel.